So now we've installed the carrier assembly into the carrier housing. We've taken up all the backlash between the bevel gear and the pinion gear. And now what we want to do is bring in the preload. And we're going to do that by turning in this adjusting ring until the inside race of the bearing starts to turn. As soon as it starts to turn, that's going to mean that we have zero preload and zero end play. We're making contact. Then what we're going to do is turn two additional notches of the adjusting ring. And what that's going to do is deflect the case. So what that's going to do is actually spread the case apart. And that spreading of the case is actually going to put the bearings under tension, being the bearing preload. Your service manual explains it as measuring across the caps with measuring rods in here using a outside micrometer and measuring the case deflection, but we know two adjusting notches will also get us the same deflection we're looking for. So let's go back to that zoomed in picture here and we're going to turn in our adjusting cap until we see slight movement of that bearing race. So we're going to turn it and turn it until we get just the cup to start to turn. What that's going to tell us is that we're in good contact and then we can increase two notches. There we go, just like that. So just like that, try again. You can just see the ring just above here. There's a little line that shows that that cup is just starting to rotate. So once again, we'll try it again. See if we can get a little bit of an angle on this to show that bearing cup turning. So I'm turning it in until just starts to turn the cup. Once again, turning it in. until it just starts to turn the cup. Once it does that, we want to line up our spanner to basically turn in two additional notches. One, two. We're going to bring this leg of the spanner up to my red mark. So now what we've done is put the case under preload. And if we've done it right, we're going to have backlash come back into the crown gear. And we do. So that means that we have deflected this case enough to push the bevel gear away from the pinion to bring back some backlash. At this point, we're going to move to checking that backlash with a dial indicator and adjusting it as required.